Hello and welcome to Creating with Mrs. C. We're going to create these pumpkins using Photoshop. To do that, I'm going to start with a blank canvas. Um, I'm using 1080 pixels by 1080 pixels, just a square. And I'm going to start with any kind of background that's dark. My opacity was a little bit low here, but I'm going to amp it up a little bit. So in my paint bucket, I just used a pattern. You could use any kind of background that you want for now and we can change it later. I'm going to start with just a painting half of my canvas brown and then adding another layer and some yellow on the bottom foreground. I'm going to use my paint bucket again and create a texture. So I'm going to choose this kind of nature grass texture. I'm going to turn my opacity down and cover the grass with that paint bucket. I'm going to do that for both layers. Next thing I'm going to do is start another layer and create some stars. To do that I'm just going to use a brush and make some circles up in the air. <laughs> and using the paint bucket again, I'm going to create, grab some type of different texture and kind of experiment if you want. You can experiment with the opacity and I'm just tapping those stars until I get something that I like. Okay, with a new layer, I'm going to create my pumpkin. To do that, I'm going to pick an orange and drag a circle. You can reposition this any which way you want. I right click and I click simplify layer. That makes the shape a little bit easier for me to work with. I duplicated that whole layer and I'm going to use my paint bucket to create a color that's a little bit lighter. Then I'm going to grab the edges of this top circle and make it a little bit smaller. I'm going to duplicate that circle again, making it a little bit smaller using my paint bucket. Lighter and doing the same thing again. So I'm going to duplicate this layer one more time and I'm making it a little bit lighter and using that paint bucket to fill that in. Pulling the edges towards the inside a little bit and duplicating that layer one more time paint bucket, a little bit lighter, and there we go. Shrink in those sides one last time. So all of these layers that make up my pumpkin, I'm going to press the shift key and tap all of those. I'm going to merge them. So now it's just one pumpkin to deal with. And to make my pumpkin a little bit more I don't know, fun looking. I just overlaid a pattern on top. So I use my paint bucket and messing with the opacity and kind of experimenting. You can put different types of textures on top. Also with a gradient. You can experiment with the gradients. Now I am making sure that I'm just in this layer, but I can tap the top and tap the bottom. I also used the wand key before I did this just to uh, make sure that I was just selecting this pumpkin while I did that. So turning the opacity down, experimenting with different gradients, you can kind of make your pumpkin look a little bit more 3D. So I am going to use the eraser tool now and just kind of playing with the top and the bottom of this pumpkin so it's not so perfectly round. And then I right clicked and duplicated layer. Now that I have a duplicate pumpkin, I dragged it to the corner and I shrunk it. Now you get to pick how many pumpkins you have in your picture or where they go, but this is a really nice way just to duplicate them. You can make skinny, tall, you could reverse the image so it's facing the other way. You could use your eraser tool again, change the top and the bottom. You can also select one pumpkin at a time and 
experiment with the levels. So I'm experimenting with these levels, making maybe the pumpkin in the back a little bit darker than the pumpkin in the front. Like I said, just kind of testing different things. You could experiment with the brightness of the contrast. I find using the levels is the easiest way to do that. I created a new layer and I'll be making a stem for the pumpkin. So I put the layer on top for now and I'm just kind of <laughs> making it however I want and then I dragged it underneath of the pumpkin. So creating a new level, a new layer for each of these stems. The last stem that I did though, I just wanted it to be on top. Then I'm gonna use my paint bucket. And again, with a texture, you could um, turn the opacity up for maybe the farthest one to make it a little bit darker. And then for the other stems, I just turn the opacity down a little bit. Just to give it a little bit more variety in each of these stems. So to make some vines, I'm gonna make a new layer and just have fun. Put some swirly lines all over the place because this is going to go in the back. <laughs> so don't worry, drawing on top of your pumpkins. You can just drag it around, uh, maybe move a stem back, forward, experiment, see what you like. This is really the best part about Photoshop for me is moving things around. I created a new layer in the front so I could put a few vines that are going around on the front. And I thought maybe add some leaves, making sure that I am in the right layer when I do this. And again, I just love this paint bucket, creating different textures, and again, experimenting. I used a blue, just trying to see what it would look like with this green, changing the opacity. Um, maybe the vines that are more close to me would be a different shade of green. So you can experiment with that. Lightening things up, maybe putting a lighter layer on top of the green. It's a cool way to do this. Just experiment and kind of have fun with these different layers. Added a couple more leaves here and there just to I guess final touches. Decided to touch up my stars too a little bit, to give it a little bit more texture. You can experiment, maybe lightening up the background once it's all finished and just kind of look. I even added just a little bit of a highlight on these stems. Again, that's with a new layer way on top of everything. Again, paintbrush or paint bucket. Just going to add some texture to those highlights too. Darkening them with some more dark texture. I even added a little bit more texture to my grass that looked a little bit more like the texture and everything else. Just to calm it down a little bit, it looked a little harsh to me. And then I merged all my layers, and that's it. It's a very simple way to create a fun little painting. I would love to see your unique twist on this project, so definitely send me a picture if you try it.